Hey guys, doing another video here. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to pretty much get your GarageBand file to Pro Tools. So, um, GarageBand uh, used it a little bit. Not a fan at all of GarageBand, but, but sometimes you just got to work with it. Um, a lot of the times I have clients who just want me to mix something, they they record it themselves in GarageBand because uh, a lot of people who record use Macs and uh, Mac comes with GarageBand. So a lot of people like to play with that. Uh, I, I never got into GarageBand. I, uh, I got right into Pro Tools and I kind of stayed with that. Um, and I, I think I'm not too crazy about GarageBand for one reason is uh, so I feel like it's really, really dumbed down. And I think that's just the way, like, I don't think a lot of people feel that way because uh, personally I was, like I said, I was uh, so used to Pro Tools. That's how I started. Um, but, but sometimes I get a session uh, in a .band file, which is the, the file extension for GarageBand. I get that, and I want to feel more comfortable when I work with it, and when I feel more comfortable uh, working with it, I can do a better job on it. So I want to be able to work with it inside Pro Tools. So in between this, uh, there's going to be like a, a middleman in between getting it from GarageBand into Pro Tools, and that's going to be Logic. Uh, if you don't know what Logic is, Logic is like the the Apple version of Pro Tools. It's made by Apple, and it's really, really similar to Pro Tools. Uh, there's some things here and there that are different. Um, I still favor Pro Tools over Logic, but both are really great and professional programs. So because GarageBand and Logic are made by the same company. They've made it so you can easily kind of switch between them. So you can you can take a GarageBand file and you can bring it into Logic, and a lot of the plugins will be saved. Not all of them, but um, depending on what you use. But I think all the all the plugins that come with GarageBand. Um, also come with logic and they can all the settings will be transferred over which is really nice I like that um, but when but when you know, we're gonna move it in Pro Tools it's none of the plugins are gonna be transferred over so it's gonna be the auto files so if you plan on mixing it in Pro Tools uh, don't waste your time trying to do like a little pre-mix or something inside GarageBand or logic because you're going to lose all that anyway. So let's get started. So on my desktop here, I have a .band file for GarageBand. Um, you don't really have to do any weird exporting when you're in GarageBand. Uh, you can literally just right click on it and by default you're going to see that it opens up with GarageBand. But right under it, under it there's going to be logic. So you just click that, that's all you have to do and then uh, it's going to want you to make a new logic session so it's going to be in the logic format. Uh, don't really have to worry about these advanced options here unless uh, you know what they are. Um, when you have the include assets checked you're going to import all the stuff that you want. All the plugins, the audio files, the automation, the settings, all that good stuff. So I'm just going to save it on the desktop. And then it's going to import. It recognizes GarageBand. Um, one of these files is kind of weird, so it's not going to work, but uh, you shouldn't get this. But if you do, you should, you should probably know what's going on if you're getting a weird file or something. Okay, so so here we go. This is the GarageBand. Everything is on time, and when I bring up the mixer, I can see that all the plugins are right where they were in GarageBand. Okay, so... Um, you can, if you like Logic more, um, you know, you don't have to import in Pro Tools, you can just do it right here. Uh, 
do your thing right here. Uh, so let's say you want to put it in Pro Tools. So we're going to export it and we're going to export the whole project as an AF file. Pro Tools, this is the format that Pro Tools can read. Uh, it's really important this step. You want to make a new folder. And that's because the AAF file it it's not it doesn't have all the audio files in it. It simply references the audio files. And if we make the AF file in the same folder as the logic uh, folder, it's gonna make a new audio files folder, and you can see there's already one in here, right here. And that's got all this stuff. And when we if we were to save the AF file in this project folder uh, in the same place where this file is, it's going to make a new audio files, but it's going to make it underscore one. So when you go and to try to load up the AF file in Pro Tools, it's going to be looking for a folder that's not there because it's named something else. So, so we're going to just make a new folder. And uh, you can just call it like AF or Pro Tools or whatever you need to. Just so you know that that's where the Pro Tools stuff is. So this is where you can save the AF file. So um, when you're exporting the audio, uh, keep all the audio the same as it was in GarageBand. So we're just gonna let it go through. It's uh, going to make that audio files folder that I mentioned. So it's going to copy everything. Um, here's that one file that was kind of weird, so don't worry about that. Alright, so let's quit logic. Save that. Okay, so here we go. Here's that folder that we made. And here's the Pro Tools. And you can see that there's an audio files folder. So that's why we need to make a new folder, because it's going to have this audio files folder. So uh, by default AF, F open, AAF opens up uh, with Pro Tools for default for me, but it can also be loaded up by logic. So make sure that Pro Tools is actually opening it. So when you open it, you're going to get this window. Um, keep the, the file type, sample rate, bit depth the same as the GarageBand file. Keep everything the same. Okay, so uh, this is important too. This folder, and we're gonna make another folder. We're we're not gonna save it in the Pro Tools folder, and this for the same reason as the logic. It's gonna make another audio files folder, and it's gonna get confused. So you can call it whatever you want. Just gonna call it session. Save. So here we got import session data window. Import session data is uh, when Pro Tools looks at a session, it can be a PTX, a PTF, or an AAF file. Um, it's going to look at it because all that file is is references. It's, there's no actual audio files in those files. Um, so it, it knows, I can see right here, it sees all these tracks. These are the same tracks that were in GarageBand and by default it's going to put these on new tracks which is what I want and so it's uh, if you were to not have made a new folder you would have still gotten this window and would still have recognized all these tracks because they're all references but when you import it Pro Tools will say every audio file cannot be located what do you want to do and that's just screaming a long time ago fixing. So, so that's why we make a new folder. Um, right here, audio media options, you got some different choices. You can either link to the source, which means when you save, when you import all this, it's not going to save all the audio files to its own Pro Tools folder. It's just going to uh, look at where the, these original files were and it's not going to copy them. Uh, I don't like to do this Nowadays, people aren't too worried about hard drive space and copying all the audio files a second time. It's not really a big deal. 
But if you are on kind of hard drive space, you may want to just link it to the source. Um, I like to just copy it. That's what it does. Uh, you don't really need to worry about these other two. Either want to copy it or link it. And then the same thing applies to any video if you're doing that. Uh, that's um, pretty much all you want to do here. Um, these other options are kind of more for importing a PTF or a PTX file. Um, not a lot of these choices are going to apply to an AF file. So we're not going to worry about it. So we're going to hit OK. And here we go. You're going to, it's going to take a while to load. Maybe a little scary at first, but it, it'll load everything. So it'll load the waveforms. Here we go. So here we go. Here's the session. Everything is in place. Everything is uh, edited. So you can get right to routing it, mixing it, putting all your plugins on it, making it sound great, and working with it in Pro Tools. So that's it, guys. Uh, that's how you load a GarageBand file into Pro Tools. Let me know if you got any questions. Uh, if you want me to make a video, about anything about recording or Pro Tools, just let me know. I'd be happy to. So please comment, rate, and subscribe. So I'll see you guys later.